What you see here is a UEMA lock designed and made in China. The design goal of this lock was to make picking and manipulation as difficult as possible. And in my opinion they have succeeded very well in achieving that goal. Uh, how they achieve that is that anything you insert into the keyway will actually turn the plug. And traditionally if you turn the plug you have opened the lock. Uh, but not in the case of UEMA. In the case of UEMA anything will turn the plug. But only the correct key will also turn the cam. And the cam is the black part of the lock that will actually open the door and operate the internal lock in the door. So to give you an example on how clever this lock is designed, I'm now going to insert a turning tool, traditionally used in picking locks. So I'm inserting it into the keyway. And the moment I apply any torque on it, um, the keyway and the plug will already start to rotate. So traditionally, this would mean that you have picked the lock and you can open the door, but not with the UEMA lock. Uh, also, I'm going to show you that if you have an incorrect key, like this one, um, it will turn, but the cam will not move one single bit. Uh, only the correct key, which I'm going to insert now, will actually turn the cam. And if you can see here, now the cam is moving along with the key and it will actually open the door for you. So it's a very, very clever design because almost all picking uh, attacks you know you have to put some tension on the plug and then you do your magic or you do your manipulation um, but by removing that feature uh, they have made a pretty secure lock that is uh, very cleverly designed here is a cutaway version of our Yoema lock here you can see the spring and the cap that put pressure on the locking mechanism here you see the external sidebar and here you see the internal sidebar and here are the sliders that, in, if they are in the correct position, will allow the first sidebar to sink in a little bit and allow the second sidebar to engage into the plug and turn the lock. Since this is the incorrect key, I will show you what happens when you turn. As you can see, the external sidebar remains in the housing of the lock and the internal sidebar remains in the plug and there's even a little bit of space to maneuver. Uh, in this state the lock remains closed, the cam does not move along and that's how the UEMA lock works. This is what the lock looks like when the correct key is inserted. Here you can see the spring and the cap and the external sidebar in the internal sidebar but since the wafers are now all in line and allow the inner sidebar to sink in a little bit deeper now the external sidebar also can sink into the plug and if you now turn you see that the external and the internal sidebar are now both into the plug and allow rotation also of the cam in the back here and that's the trick with the UEMA lock 